We have offensive lineman Inez Cooper. If you have a question for Coop, please use the hand raise function. We'll start off with Matt Trudell of Kane Sport. Matt. Hey, Inez. Hope everything's good. Um, start you off with uh, with an easy one. Just talk about facing the Gators, your excitement level, what sort of challenge you expect in that opening game. Um, I think it'll be a good opportunity. Very excited. I just we just got to go out there and just play hard, execute. Um, we heard all about the rivalry. We've been watching videos and stuff about it all week. So I just think we just need to go out there. We're very excited for the opportunity to just go out there and play. Well, when you say you watch videos about it all week, are you talking about Gator flops or are you talking like the history of the series? You're just talking about like, like we, just, we just watching the history of it. You know, Gator no Gator flops, just watching the history, of it. just seeing how they played back in the day and seeing how they played the last what four years, four five years ago, and just seeing what they were doing and just getting excited for us. Next, we'll go to Marcus Benjamin in Canes County. Marcus. Hey, Ness, how's it going? What's up? I uh, wanted to ask about the defensive line that you face in practice uh, at fall camp and just the different styles uh, that you see and just kind of give us a sense of what the Florida offensive line will see on Saturday with the different styles and body types from the Miami D line. Um, I think... We got a lot of we got a lot of guys. We got a lot of different guys. We got different abilities, different sizes. I think, I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna go out there and play. I feel like they should, they should um do what they're supposed to do. We got guys like C.J. Simeon, Ahmad, Mesidor, Bain, um Elijah Austin, all those guys. I feel like they just keep doing what they've been doing all spring and summer and fall count. I feel like it's gonna be a battle. I feel like it's gonna be a, a um, very good battle in the trenches. That everything's to level out. So I feel like as long as those guys just go out there and do what they've been doing, I feel like they should do very great on Saturday night or well, Saturday at 3.30. Next, we'll go to Azubi Charles at Kane Sport. Azubi? What's going on, man? As obviously you just mentioned, you know, the battle in the trenches. We talked to Coach uh, Dawson yesterday. He said running the ball is going to be crucial for this offense. Just your, in your words, how important is establishing the run on the road, you know, against the Gators? Um, I feel like we just got to go out there and just and do what we do. I feel like we are. Um, I think we a good running team. We got some very good backs. Um, Dave Martinez, Chris, AJ Allen, and Mark Fletcher. I feel like we just go out there and we just do our job and make sure we open holes for the running back. I feel like we should dominate. I feel like we should dominate the game. But I feel like we just we go out there and be missing assignments and all that and wouldn't go our way. But I feel like we just go out there and just do our job and and allow guys to hit holes and open holes up for the running back. I feel like we should do great. So I feel like that should be that should be a good thing for us. They would be able to run the ball. And pass. So. Our next question comes from Adam Lichtenstein of the Sun Sentinel. Adam, hey Inez. Um, one of so speaking of like body types and and uh, and uh, battles in the trenches. One of the guys that stands out on Florida's roster is uh, their defensive tackle Desmond Watson, uh, who's lifted at four hundred fifty pounds, which uh, I assume is the biggest guy you've ever you know you'd ever have to go against. I assume. Um, how do you how do you handle a guy who's I mean just Bit outweighs is just bigger than everyone you else on the field. You you just went out. Can you can you repeat like the end part? Sorry, I was just thinking. How do you how do you go against a guy who's just you know bigger than kind of everyone else on the field like that? Um, I just feel like I just do do what I've been doing. I feel like I shouldn't have really had to change nothing about it. Yeah, he's a very he's a very big guy, but I just feel like I just go out there and just and do what I've been doing. It should be no problem with me having to change you no know, technique or nothing. And then you you know you said that uh you know you guys have been watching videos of the, of the history of the rivalry and stuff. I mean you're not from Florida, so just uh what were some of the things that you learned from from those videos and just getting an idea of like this rivalry? I just I went there watching and I didn't know that um it started because I think the whole Florida defense had laid down on the ground and um I guess they had let it um Miami score for the quarterback and get some stats or something like that. But I just seen that it just got me excited like. I'm just ready to play. I'm in there watching. I don't really know like nothing about Miami. Here's the bad day. I'm still learning. But when I seen that, it just got me ready to play. Like I'm excited to play Saturday. I'm thankful for the opportunity. Anything else for Coop? Awesome, Coop. We appreciate your time. Good luck on Saturday. Yes, sir.